Hello, recording, cool. Um, just got my first CGC box back, just signed up recently. I really, really like some of the CGC quality labels. I've got a couple of them, but this is the first time I've actually signed up for the membership myself and sent out my own set of comics. Uh, every time I do watch unboxing on, on YouTube, I don't ever see a lot of things about some of my favorite characters. Right up there, uh, see, yep, one of my favorite comic book characters of all time, Psylocke. And, uh, I want to view, but uh, one of my other favorite characters, Jessica Cruz, is a really, really cool Green Lantern. Never really see any CGC unboxings about them, so I figured I'd do one. I'm trying to get adjusted to the faux webcam. I'm using one of my Android phones as a webcam, it's just better quality audio. And uh, video overall. That's an interesting style of uh, wrapping. Looks like it goes to the sides. Oh, here we go. Yeah, box it from the top, I guess. Okay. Crack these open. And uh, yeah, I do know all the grades. When I got the email from CGC that said your product had been processed. I got them pretty fast. I think I sent them out April 1st, and then they were processed, and on their way back April 17th, which was really quick. I did pay for fast tracking, but I mean, that, that was quicker than I expected. I didn't get any pressing done. Um, but yeah, I was, I was really happy with the grades I saw, and the one that's a little lower, I'll, I'll get to. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, there's seven. Bubble wrap. Um, I don't know what these are. I would love to have a Detective Comics number 27. But uh, maybe one day. <laughs> one day. That's kind of cool, just some comic advertising. So the first one, like I said, I'm a pretty big Psylocke fan. With Demon Days, this is the Virgin variant. Um, probably gonna sell this one, if I'm being completely honest. I really love this character, but, uh... I don't know if I'm really feeling this one. I got a lot of other variants, and I think I can let go of that one. But it's very nice. Very nice. Let's take a look here. Number two. Let's bubble wrap out. Um... I have been wanting this one for a while, graded. I have one of the statues that matches it. It's the Jim Lee art. It's the uh, trading card variant. Peter Parker, the spectacular Spider-Man, number two. And yeah, 9.8. I wasn't sure if I had a 9.8 or not. I knew it was a nice, clean copy, but uh, there was a couple of little things I wasn't sure about. I still don't get it. Usually 9.8s are pretty easy to spot. Anything less than that it gets complicated for me personally. I usually got a pretty discerning eye. It's a fun story. My local comic shop, you might... Uh, I don't know if any of you guys have ever been to World's Best Comics, but I got a CGC graded comic book. This is part of the whole side step, but um, I got a Batman Damned. It's actually a 10 which uh, for the cardstock variants wasn't as crazy as some of the other ones, but really, really happy with that. Uh, back to the unboxing. So this one is the first appearance of the new costume and kind of the new Psylocke. So Quanin's the new Psylocke. She's kind of taking over for Betsy and it gets messy. <laughs> I'll uh, see my own image on that. It's a little weird. But yeah. This is the only one that didn't get a 9.8, and there was Grader's Notes. It just said that there was a light bend on the back, which is way too bright in here. There's too much glare I can't see, but I think with the press, this could easily get a 9.8. So I'll probably resubmit that a little later. There's a guy locally who presses comics that I can just probably get that done pretty quick at. Um, going back to Jessica Cruz. First appearance of Jessica Cruz. Cameo. Let's see if I can get the glare out. Pretty big fan of hers, and one of the things I really, really like is 
She's a relatively new character. There's not too many keys for her, so she's kind of building up the collection of what, maybe like eight different books that she is currently valued in. It's uh, pretty easy right now. So I'm trying to take advantage of that. Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, yes. This one I'm probably keeping. So this one is the Virgin variant of Hellions 10. Uh, I think I picked this up. I don't remember if I actually went through Unknown Comics or Street Level Hero. I think I got it through th Street Level Hero. And uh, yeah, it sent me the Virgin. I got a good deal on it. Used the Gem Mint code because uh, I do watch Gem Mint. And it worked out great. Um... This one was a little bit of a FOMO. I am a Psylocke fan, like I've said a million times, and this isn't really one of her comics. It's a little... Okay, it's very risky. I guess I'll cover it up, but for whatever reason, I was on Mutant Beaver Comics, I think. I bought some other variant of hers, and this showed up on the site. I was like, all right, that's pretty cool. Some part of me thought it was gonna be worth a lot of money, so I picked it up. And it's a new topless cover. It's a cosplay cover. Oh, well, hopefully you two be okay with that. Um, it's really cool, but yeah, I'm probably gonna sell that. I don't know how comfortable I am putting that up in my room when I have people over, showing them some of my statues and stuff. That's probably not gonna stay. But it's cool to have. <laughs> And then this one's the last one. Jessica Cruz cover. Uh, I guess it's kind of more like a cardstock minimal trade dress. It has quite a few newt rings, but in a weird way, it kind of works with the uh, the yellow background in her suit. It's kind of cool. It almost gives it like a I don't want to say a textured look, but it kind of just works. Which is weird, I never thought they'd say that about Newton Rings, but that's cool. And this is her first cover where she's a yellow lantern, because she's kind of a yellow lantern now, it's kind of weird. But uh, yeah, it's really cool. Pretty happy with the unboxing. Pretty happy with the new comics, pretty cool. Yeah. Any of you guys out there have any CGCs of these two characters? Maybe you should have pulled them. It'd be really cool to see other people show off a little bit of uh, fandom. All right. Uh, yep, that's it.